It's hard to imagine that the now ubiquitous Coca-Cola beverage used to contain cocaine and was even marketed as a nerve tonic and stimulant. Although the 1920 Supreme Court case of Coca-Cola Company versus Coke Company of America took place nearly two decades after the cocaine was removed, we examine the relevance of this historical fact in the context of a trademark infringement matter. Coca-Cola had been making and selling Coca-Cola, or Coke, since the late 1800s. It was named for two of its ingredients, coca leaves and cola nuts. The drink's formula included a small amount of cocaine from coca leaves until the cocaine was removed sometime prior to 1906, when such substances were banned. After that, the coca leaves and cola nuts were still used in the production of the drink, but the process removed everything except some tannin, chlorophyll, and caffeine. Coca-Cola advertised its drink, clarifying that cocaine wasn't an ingredient and that consumers shouldn't expect it. Its ads further eliminated depictions of anything that suggested cocaine, except its name and photos of the leaves and nuts. Coca-Cola became commonly known as Coke, and its sales greatly increased in the 1900s due to its corresponding spike in advertising. Coke Company of America later developed, marketed, and sold a similar drink named Coke, it contended that Coca-Cola wasn't entitled to trademark protection because its ads and retention of the Coca-Cola name falsely represented that the drink still contained cocaine. Contending that Coke was trying to unjustly profit from Coca-Cola's name and trademark, Coca-Cola sued Coke in district court for trademark infringement and sought to enjoin Coke's use of the name. The district court entered a judgment for Coca-Cola, which was later reversed by the Ninth Circuit which determined that Coca-Cola made false representations to the public in its trademark and associated advertisements. The Supreme Court agreed to review the case.